John, this is the new release of Loch Lear, the uh, third one in the seasonal series. Yes. It's for autumn and you can certainly tell us more about it. Yes, so it's not even released yet, Bernard. So the 3rd of November this will be released, so we're tasting ahead of it. Um, yes, yeah, fallow. Um, as you can see, it's all sherry cask and a mixture. Of, we've mixed two different types. Um, you can see the bottle as well. One of the things a lot of people do ask is why these marks on the bottle. Mm -hmm. And this is the tractor tyres from the distillery oh, as I well, see. so from the farm. So like it, we've just got the tractor tyres. Everything relates back to the farm at Loch Lee. And that's why it'll say crop one below it as mm -hmm. well. So it's the first crop of the fallow edition. So it's bottled at uh, 46% alcohol. It's non-chill filtered, it's non-coloured. So yeah, with generally a younger spirit, it's um, it's got great colour um, and that all comes from the cask. Mm -hmm. With, there's, see there's two different types, some of them were really, really heavy sherried and some were lighter sherried and the, the lighter sherried will provide quite a lot of the the kind of the softer notes in this one and the, obviously the heavy sherry gives the just the big sherry bomb. So you do get a lot of that up front. It's 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 like oh it was like medjool dates there was the main flavour I got up front. Very datey, maybe a wee bit leathery, tobacco, just the things you'd expect mm -hmm. from a sherry cask. Um, but mainly dates. It's just like at the moment when you open a date to get the stone out, that smell, that's what it smelled like there. So that was that was quite vivid obviously for me there. Um, you move along and it gets, you get some, there's a wee bit of dry at the back end there too, um, but it's, it's, what's that, in the middle? There's, a mi there's a mixture of like, oh it's more like a creme brulee a wee bit, but more better. It's like something's been added to the creme brulee. Coming after that then yeah just nice kind of red stewed fruits as well. And it's opening up. And that's one thing about Lockley as well, like pour it into a glass mm -hmm. and it, like leave it. For five, ten minutes it gets better. It open it seems to open up. It seems to need to open up a wee bit. Yeah. So if you leave it in the glass five, ten minutes. You just start to get more and more of the depth that, that is there in Loch Lee, so, yeah. Not much cinnamon, not much kind of sp spice, a wee bit of, tiny bit of kind of white pepper, but not much. Not much black pepper either, considering it's European oak, but um, yeah, let's have a wee taste. It starts off soft and then it just becomes really, really big, the flavour profile in your mouth. Nice leathery notes coming through in the palate, um, but as I said, it was more dainty, dry, yeah, kind of creamy, dry, leathery, then feels a wee bit white chocolate now, like just okay. coming through, and then, oh, it's still, it's still changing, which is good, that's really good. Um, that there's a wee bit of depth there too, and now it's just petering off into what would I say? It's, it's like kind of like an orange rind, more mm. orange rind leathery mix. That leathery note stays all the way through it, which I, I quite like that. This is the first time I've tried it. Really? Yeah, in the bottle. Yeah. I tried, like, yeah. I'm, I'm doing all the free samples, but like, this yeah. is the first time. It, so it's nice and lingering that aftertaste, which is good. And I think it'll be really, really popular because people love a big sherry yeah. whiskey. So this is definitely fitting that bill. And it should fit perfectly for the season for. Yes. Fall. So no, that's the, yep, just the fallow period is 
when everything goes quiet in the farm and uh, we plant these covered crops, mm. it, um, the nights are getting darker, so it's just <laughs> a, wee, a wee sherry whiskey to kind of... It will be through. available on the 3rd of November? Yes. And, yeah, in shops in Germany as well. Yep, yep. Perfect. Yeah, no, it should be all over Europe, so... Mm. Uh, look forward to seeing what folks think of it. Thank you for your expertise.